Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, today I am going to be reflecting with you on the verse from Luke chapter 12, verse 51. And this verse says, Do you think I have come to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. This verse of Luke, together with its parallel, which we find in Matthew chapter 10, verse 34, are considered among the most controversial verses of the New Testament because they tend to render the, very problematic the idea that Jesus Christ was a man of peace whose preaching of God's kingdom has the principal objective of instituting love among humans. So to have Jesus then say that he has not come to bring peace on earth but rather division gives credence to those who claim that Jesus was fundamentally a zealot who perished in the hands of the Romans because of his because of incendiary activities which he was propagating. However, exactly how do we understand these words of Jesus? Let's say that we might be tempted to interpret it as simply figurative, but we must be careful not to water down the meaning of these verses by interpret, interpreting them as purely figurative. And to do this, we must look at the parallel verse of this passage in Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. The words of Jesus in the parallel passage we find in Matthew 10, 34 were actually more graphic because instead of the word division, Matthew uses the word sword as that which Jesus came to bring. In fact, some interpreters believe that Luke's use of the word division was meant to be a clarification of what is believed to be the original figurative word sword, which we find in Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. I have come to bring division, Jesus said. This word division is rendered by the Greek word diamorismos, and it appears only here in the whole of the New Testament, which is significant. You only find this word again in the Old Testament Greek translation three times where it renders the idea of a portion or a part of a people as we find in a tribe. But to tell us that the idea of division as that which Jesus brings has some basis in reality, we find different passages in John's Gospel where people were divided about Jesus and his social and religious profile. For example, in John chapter 7 verse 43, we are told that there was a division in the crowd because of Jesus. In John chapter 9, verse 16, we were told that the Pharisees were divided after Jesus Christ performed the miracle. And in John chapter 10, verse 19 to 21, again, the people were divided in their assessment of Jesus Christ after a miracle he performed. There are also other examples where people break away from a common belief around the person of Jesus in order to hold the truth with the, with the sea regarding the person of Jesus. For example, Nicodemus, who did not share entirely the Pharisees' animosity about Jesus. So, brothers and sisters, the idea that a good man is, by virtue of the righteousness, of his righteousness or her righteousness for a woman, is controversial, is something that can be interpreted at the level of everyday experience. Not everyone accepts goodness or righteousness as something to be desired. This is actually true of the life of the prophets. Jeremiah was arrested in the first reading of today, this Sunday. But then we find people like Ebed-Melech, who went to Zedekiah the king and complained that Jer Jeremiah was unjustly, was being unjustly treated. So, in this example, we find a good man who identified with Jeremiah in the midst of animosity which was growing against him. This is already a division. In our own context, as Christians of today, we must know that there is no person who intends to do good that should not expect a pushback. This is the lot of every prophet, and we, and if we want to institute the kingdom of God in a world where there is evil, then we may have to expect or even cause division that may be necessary for that change to happen. May God bless you all as you celebrate this day, and let us pray. O oh God, grant us the courage to understand our place in the world as agents of change. Protect us in the hands of difficult people 
and grant success to our endeavor to bring love and kindness to our world. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen.